Hello and welcome to Monday, Tuesday, almost got me wrong there, but Tuesday evening we're logging to Ultimate Team today to see what we have new after we had the Kulisevsky Mudrik showdown yesterday. I've decided I'm definitely going to do the Kulisevsky and might do the Mudrik if I have enough within my squad. We also had the Centurion's Objective and SBC upgrade thing that we had in yesterday. So yeah, we're going to have a look through today, see what we've got new added in since then. If anything, that is. Um, I finished Dia, Dia de Muertas, which was a kit, a Tifo, a badge, and an, an extra large Tifo or something along those lines. Uh, looks like nothing in the live section. Obviously, um, with the season progress, we have one day and 13 hours left, so Thursday mid-morning basically UK time it will reset and we will have a whole load of more um, different XP different packs different players different selections to pick from as we go through and there'll be the normal choices the picks and all that kind of thing as we've worked our way through the season um, other than that there is nothing in seasonal will we see anything in milestones today it's probably unlikely but there is the off chance of something Ah, we do. Okay. So I'm on 3 out of 10 for the upgraded completionist for the Crafting Centurions. And we have Squad Foundations for the MLS. So Morris is the top player, Jordan Morris. 3 star, 3 star, lots of pace. Either wide midfield position, left wing as well, and a striker card. I mean... That's pretty good around. Is he small? Six foot is not small, so he's quite. He's got good pace for his height. Um, the shooting is okay. The dribbling is fairly solid. Uh, above eighty for everything means no weak spots, which is a nice touch. He's got good strength uh, for that pace. You rarely see the two combine in that what kind of way. Decent jumping as well. What's he got? Chip shot, rapid, quick step. And Traveller. So the Traveller means um, he works well as a striker and obviously coming in off the wing. Rapid as going down the wing is a good choice. And then chip shot as well, It should that shooting situation present itself. So here's the overall card. We've got Byrne, who I'm not familiar with. Nathan Byrne, a right back, English. And a left back as well. So both full back positions covered. Reactions and composure are a little low compared to the rest of dribbling. It's 5'11". The rest of dribbling is pretty good for a defender, though, to be honest. Defending is solid. All around the 80-ish mark-ish. Physicals are very good. Pace, of, pace, obviously, the best part of this player's game. I would put a backbone on this to boost that passing, boost that defending, boost that physical. The dribbling is fine as it is. And the pace, obviously, is very nice. Shooting, don't fully need to worry about. He, as well, is rapid and quick step and also has the first touch trait, which is decent. That's a, it's a nice little useful card. Plus, obviously, because he's English, should you want to use him, he'll link in well with other English players within the game. Premium goal pack for scoring seven goals. That burn is for five assists with MLS players. And then Nagabi, is it? Nagabi? I'm not sure. He's got technical, he's got relentless, and he's got press proven. So he's going to have, yeah, good strength, good physical stats. Again, the defending is reasonable. The dribbling is very well balanced. All above 80 as well. Pace is above 80. It's a well-rounded card, quite clearly. Three-star, three-star, high defensive work rate in the 80s for all the important stuff, really. Could could see yourself wisely putting a shadow on that boost the pace up to 90 boost the defending with the maximum amount which gets him into the 80s for that the physical is already very good the dribbling is very good the passing is lovely the shooting's actually okay so yeah i would definitely put a shadow on that card and then the win five is there as well for the two times 78 so we've got gabby we've got burn and we've got morris there Cool, we like that. Like a bit of squad foundations, add some players in, increases the links that we can get with people. 
witches, which is useful for squad building things. And if they bring in any um, uh, playable objectives or competitions with um, specific squad or nationality league criteria, then all the cards you've got will prove useful as they go in with that into your teams from there. So what do we have going on here? We've just got the big packs in there. It's not a surprise there. Classic pack, I've got 2 minutes 15, so we'll come back in a second for that. What will... Actually... I didn't look at Evos. We're unlikely to have Evolutions, obviously, but I'm going to have a look anyway. And no, there is no Evos. I've only got my ones over here. Okay, no new Evos today. That is pretty much as expected. So what will SPCs bring? Will there be anything going on here? Centurions is in my favourite, so we're leaving that there. Players, we've got Odegaard, we've got Marta. We've got Alvarez, we've got Simmons. Fuso is still there. Mudrik and Kulusevski are there. Jimenez is there. Foyth, Minsong, Liao. He's new. John Luis Lecker. I do not know what this man has done in his career to merit it, but maybe 100 games for Len. Lons, sorry. 100 clean sheets for Lons. Who knows? 85 means he's 38, so he would have had time to build up 100 clean sheets. I'm saying this is an 82 rated squad with a team of the week. An 83 rated squad with two 84s. So basically it's two 84s, a couple of 83s and a couple of 82s. That's. If you want an 85 rated keeper, if you've got Donnarumma or somebody like that, you're not going to be interested at all in that. That's probably not going to have a huge uptake, I would guess. And we've got another... Oh, he's MLS as well. So this is the SPC to go with the objective uh, with the objective playing cards. He's also left mid, right mid. He's also right wing and centre forward instead of striker. So he's got slightly different positions to Morris that we looked at earlier. But all in all, that is. I thought it was, I was going to say it's quite similar. The pace is quite similar. The shooting is quite similar. Passing is quite similar. Dribbling, Le Quinas is a bit top-heavy. Morris was more even. And Morris was definitely more physical. But he's got finesse, the incisive pass, the technical ball control, the flair, and the Travella. Travella, again, proving useful. This will be an, this will be the same as the other one, I reckon. 83 with some 84s. 83 with a team of the week and a Brazilian. That's not too bad. With the other MLS cards in and the fact that EA are pushing us just towards having uh, a, a, a club... Uh, put my teeth in, Andrew. Um, a pushing players to having foundations for the various leagues, then that makes sense. That's not a bad price at all. We have a double upgrade that's back again. And nothing else going on here. So we'll probably look at that. I mean, it's a little... 83 with the team of the week. Was it that before? No. It was... It was more... Bef it was an 85 before, wasn't it? Because I think we said... Yeah, 85 for a double 83. Doesn't make sense. So those are my team of the weeks at the moment. I probably want to keep the top three. But the other six are definitely up for using... Obviously, they're not up to the 83 level, so I'd have to put in some 84s. But that might be worth it now. It's a better option for sure. That 84 plus is definitely a better better thing there. Challenges, no challenges. Just put a challenge in every day. Put a Centurion thing every day. Why not? And then icons, nothing. So let's go and open my preview pack today. So yeah, all... All in all, we've got a bit of content everywhere, basically. We've got some SPCs to look at. We've got the ongoing objective with the upgrades to go. So, squad foundations for the MLS League. We've got the Centurions SPC Lecker, who's not hugely of interest. The Quinos, which is the MLS squad foundations SPC. And then the continuing team of the week player pick 
along with the 84 plus double upgrade means yeah we've got a good five or six pieces of content there that's not too bad also harry Maguire and a shadow in the same pack i am being treated by the ea gods today that's 5k on its own so we're definitely going to get this pack because this card will go straight away pretty much the leagues we can get rid of the kit will sell So if it's 227, if I put it minimum 300, then it's profit. And then the rest is good. Get some players for one of the SBC upgrades. And we've got another preview pack that we can do. And we're we'll playing some games tonight, so the coins will top up the, the difference. This is still nothing that exciting. It's a DeMarcos. Anybody else behind him that's of any use? No. Thousand coins, but it still doesn't make the pack worthwhile. So we'll end the video there. So yes, we have Lekka, we have Lukinios, we have Nagbo, Burn, and Morris, along with Lekka and the aforementioned Lukinios. So that's what we've got today. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your picks. Good luck with your packs. If you get anything good from your 84, du 84 plus double upgrade, I want to know about it. I'm going to have a go at some of them. Other than that, I wish you well. Have a good evening. And I'll speak to you this time tomorrow. Thank you for watching and goodbye.